let's start with the uh, most recent thing I think oh, that okay. happened. The uh, FedEx. Okay. FedEx. Yeah. There we are. Okay, let's go ahead and bring that up. So Thursday night, there was a shooting, a quote-unquote mass shooting. The definition of mass shooting is, uh, I believe, three or more people, which is convenient because that leaves out a bunch of uh, drive-by shootings in Chicago. So, six, like, what is it? 60% of mass shooters are whites because of that. <laughs> We're still under, um, underrepresented because 70% of the population in America is white, but we only make up 60% of the mass shooting population. Interesting. Yeah, so we're underrepresented. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, I don't know. I think that this guy was white, but I'm not exactly sure because they never mentioned his race. And somebody in our group chat mentioned uh, something about Coulter's Law. Do you know what Col Coulter's Law is? Is that where if it's not a white person, then... They don't mention the race, but if it's a white person, they do mention the race. I think I think the actual statement, I think it was a tweet of hers that says the longer it takes for a news outlet to name the race of the perpetrator, the the likelihood of them being not white is more likely or something along those lines it becomes <laughs> zero or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. So but I do believe from more information that this guy is white. So. Um, let's see, uh, the former employee who shot and killed eight people at a FedEx facility in, Indiap in Indianapolis was interviewed by the FBI, by FBI agents last year after his mother called police to say that her son might commit suicide by cop, the Bureau said Friday. So I believe, yeah, here's the uh, people here. Uh, the Marion County Coroner's Office identified the dead as Matthew R. Alexander, 32, Samaria Blackwell, 19, Amarjeet Jahol, 66, Jaswinder Kaur, 64. I'm going to mess up all of these. Jaswinder Sin, Sinai, Sinai, Sin, Sing? 68. Amarjeet Sekhan, 48. Kari Smith, 19. And John Weissert, 74. And I think at least four of these people were part of the Sikh community in Indianapolis as well. But they hmm. also said in this article that there was no indication of any kind of race-based for this shooting. It just literally, he just snapped and decided to go shooting some people. It sounds, yeah, it's, it, it really sounds like he did not like working there, perhaps. Well, he quit. And, in, uh, he quit in 2020, so he hasn't been working there for at least four months. Yeah, so he, he, he had some deep seated fucking, mm. <laughs> he had some kind of, I hate this place and I want to make the people there suffer. So yeah, that's, uh, this right here, this quote from one of the uh, people that was on site, there was no confrontation with anyone that was there. He said, there was no disturbance, there was no argument, he just appeared to randomly start shooting. Mm. So, mm. fuck. At his old work, huh? Yep. <clears throat> and so there's a bunch of stuff on here from people posting on Facebook and whatnot. Joe Biden, nobody cares about him. Who gives a shit? That's why. So yesterday, um, I was out with my cousin. We we went to go try to get some Shake Shack, which just opened in Beaverton, and the line was too long. But we were noticing half mast flags, and we're like, "Why are the flags at half mast?" Joe Biden ordered um, ordered flags to be at half mast due to this um, shooting. Mm. So there is that. <laughs> <sighs> it's depressing. Like, um, man, this is crazy. This is a long story, and I really don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> yeah, it just it just seems like he I, I think it said in there somewhere that he there was there didn't seem to be any kind of like motivation. Like, just I don't know. there it is. He just hole, went off. Hole began randomly firing at people in the parking lot of the FedEx facility late Thursday, killing four before entering the building, fatally shooting four more people and then turning the gun on himself. McCart said he said he did not know if Hull owned the gun legally. Mm -hmm. So, yep, that is what a harsh and cruel world we live in. He added, that's, that's yep, that's a different part of the article, but it's um, that's the thing that happened on Thursday. And I woke up on Friday morning, I think I was still awake Friday morning at like 7 a.m., and I was watching like the news or something, which I don't hardly ever do. Like, I fucking hate the news, yeah. 
like, I don't CDC like it either. or some some bullshit or something. 